what I know about spinning the buffer that is that it damaged part of your body. For me, it damaged part of my lower body. I can't feel anything from my waist down, so I'm paralyzed. I don't feel anything either on my legs, and I also wear a shunt from my head down to my waist that takes all the fluid from our head down to my stomach and it helps me be alive or else I would have seizure and I would have to go to the hospital. Juan's Avaleta gets around Quakertown Community High School and everywhere else in a wheelchair. He is spina bifida. He also has one of the biggest hearts of any kid in the school. One of the reasons Juan and his family came to the United States was because of better medical care. This video follows him in art class, at his volunteer job, and in his life skills classroom. Spina bifida is the most frequently occurring, permanently disabling birth defect. It affects approximately one out of every 1,000 newborns in the U.S. More children have spina bifida than have muscular dystrophy, multiple sclerosis, and cystic fibrosis combined. My family found out by, by when I was born, I couldn't move my feet like a regular baby. I wasn't able to kick or anything. I wasn't able to move my legs. So my mom and my dad took me to the doctor right away to see what was going on because usually babies move to feet every, every time. And the doctor told him right away that I had to spend a bit for that. I came to the United States when I was about eight years old. And my mom and my dad and decided that it would be better for me to come to the United States. But of course, my dad came to the United States first to get a better life for me, to look for doctors, and start getting all paperwork done. So when I came here, it would be all ready for me. But years passed, and my dad never came back for us. So my mom and my sisters and my aunt and other family members and supported us by saying that we could, they could bring us to the United States, crossing the border every, whenever we could. So we, were, my aunt supported us by helping us come into the United States. We had to cross the border for about a week or two to come to the to United States. I, I very enjoy this class. Why? Because it's come, it calms me, calms me down when I have a really hard day or do something to calm down every day. It's the last period class. And Miss Tao is a wonderful teacher to have art class with. She's a wonderful teacher. She teaches really good art skills. So yeah, I enjoy this class a lot. Hi, my name is Ms. Stout. I'm an, one of the art teachers here at the high school. And I've had the privilege of being able to work with Juan for the past year and this fall in my art class. Um, Juan is really a talented young man. He brings a lot of creativity to my room as well as a lot of humor. He is well-mannered and has a real gift for working with different materials. Um, he just completed a weaving that he took home. I hope you showed your family. It was incredible. Um, all students did this wonderful weaving um, and incorporated beads and color together. And uh, Wands was right on the money. I believe you got a four on that, didn't you? Yeah. Yes, you did. I, really, really great job on his uh, last project. He also does very well with clay. Um, and he just completed a project that's actually firing in our kiln right now. It's a coil pot 
and um, you did some really interesting spiral designs throughout that and your color choice for glazing was also spectacular. So I always find it a joy uh, when Juan comes to class. He has, as I said, he has a great attitude, he has great manners, and he's a great artist. And it's been a privilege for me to be able to teach him over the past year and a half. I moved to the United States to get a new life and a better life for me. Because back in Mexico, I had no wheelchair. I had no schools that were good for me. They were all good for people who could walk or run. There are other schools for people like me, but we, you would have to walk at least two hours to get there or take a bus. And my mom didn't have the money to take me to schools every, every day. So uh, we came here to get schools for me, doctors and medical insurance, because I have nothing, I had nothing in Mexico. I had no insurance, or nothing. I had no wheelchair in Mexico. I never went to school in Mexico. On this day, Juan and his life skills class went on a field trip to volunteer at the Karen Share thrift store in Souderton, Pennsylvania. Taking Juan out of the bus usually takes five to ten minutes, a task that takes most teenagers about five to ten seconds. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not going to hurt it anymore. I'm with the class. Why not today? You are with the class. So today is the 13th, so we're yeah. going to come on down. Today is my birthday. Today is your birthday. So we're going to put a dot there. Okay. That means you are here. And then when you leave, you'll put your hours. One hour. One hour. Just one, hour. one hour. Well, we won't do that until we leave. She said to put one hour because we're out the door real fast. The first thing Juan did was to price hats. Oh. First, it was hard because half of his left hand is paralyzed. I just put myself. Oh, that's not funny. That's not funny. I just put myself. He got it. After a couple of tries, he finally got it. Juan, Juan's been great working here. He uh, has uh, skills that we haven't even discovered yet, but I know he's capable of far more than uh, what I see and what we've thrown at him. But uh, we enjoy having him here, and he's uh, a quick learner. We asked Juan if he likes working by himself. Um. I'm used to it because when I came here with Miss Mary, my other job coach, I had to work myself, so I'm used to it already. Oh, 